Hey guys, it's your girl Apple Discord here, and welcome to the third installment of Let's Play Beneath the Still Sky. Last we left off, Robert had escaped from the recycling plant. He went down one level below to the furnace. We also saw a weird eyeball camera that was watching us, and with the help of Joey, we managed to get that door open. However, Wright ambushed us but was mysteriously killed by the eyeball camera which we found out was linked. But before he died, he called us by name, Oberman. So let's continue on our journey to get out of the recycling plant, find out who this Oberman person is, and just find out why they want us so badly. Alright, here we go. Wow. That was some ride. Let me turn down this right quick, though. It's kind of loud. Okay. So, as much as I hate to do this, we're going to have to check the corpse, but let's look at this camera again. Whoever is monitoring that camera saved my life. But who? And why? That's a very good question. We need to find that out, but uh, let's look at this. Barbecued. I'll never eat kebab again. <laughs> it's kebab, not kebab. Okay, let's check it. He was carrying an ID card. The card may be useful. And I'll take his dark glasses, too. I still don't understand why we need the dark glasses. The ID, yes, I can understand that, but the glasses, no. All right, let's uh, wake up, Joey. Joey, wake up, you metal moron! <laughs> nice. What happened? You missed all the action. Couldn't help it. My anti-stress circuit took over. It seems security have mistaken me for a guy called Overman. Yeah, that's interesting. And why is this Overman person so important? Let's talk to Joey a little bit more. Okay, now I know this is the first question to ask, but I'm kind of curious of how they can mistake Robert as somebody else. How could anyone mistake me, Joey? Because you've got no personality, no distinctive characteristics. You are Mr. Potato Head. And you Thanks, are... pal. <laughs> and you are a metal asshole. Oops, did I say that out loud? Why'd you suppose that security guy got fried? Maybe we've got a guardian angel. Guardian angel, yeah. That's, that's one way of putting it. I'm gonna try to find that, Overman. How do you expect to do that? The population of this place could number millions. Give or take a few dead security agents. Well, that is a valid question. However, I'm pretty sure there's not that many Overmans in the city. There has to be enough to where you can search or look it up some way. But let's 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 get out, get out of here. Yeah, let's up and go. away. Let's go. We're, we're, we're we don't want to look at him again. And that eyeball camera is kind of freaky. Yay! We are out finally. We're way up in the clouds, Joey. We need to find a way to the ground. Okay, I'm going to save because I'm going to do something very stupid. But it's just to show you. If I remember, I'm going to save over this one so when I come back, I'll just load from here. Alright, before I play the game, I just want to show you something right quick. Yes. I'd like to... Is this regarding a domestic incident? I've been transferred from domestics. I have this tendency to get emotionally involved. <laughs> You're too sensitive, Sam. It's my nature, Norville. It's not about a domestic. That's a relief.
Do you know a guy called Overman? Never heard of him. Hmm. I'd like to join the security services. Are you kidding? You mean you're volunteering? That's right. I heard it's a great life. It is. But you're not hard enough. You've got to have tattoos and stuff. <laughs> tattoos and stuff. That's what you got to have, laddie. <laughs> yes. I'd like a few answers. Yes. How do I get down to ground level? Who is Overman? You can get information from the link terminal. Just who are you, anyway? I'm here to inspect the building. Yes. That's right. Routine inspection. <laughs> yes. Heard anything about an inspection, Sam? What kind of an inspection, Norville? A routine inspection. <laughs> routine, oh? Whew. That's unusual. It's not convenient right now. Quit pestering me when I'm busy. Yes? You didn't answer my question. Didn't I make myself plain enough for you, lame brain? How rude. You can get information from the link terminal. Now, scram! While you've still got the use of your legs. You shouldn't get yourself so worked up. Oh, hell. I'm sorry. It's my nerves. <laughs> Okay, now here is the stupid part. Having a problem with your card? Let me check that for you. Oh no. No thank you. Yeah, we're not gonna give him Reich's card. We're gonna say we dropped it in the porridge. My card is coated with porridge. Porridge? Porridge? Porridge. Yeah, I dropped it in my breakfast. I meant to clean it, but I forgot. I've done that so many times myself. Really? It's so easily done, isn't it? You're having breakfast, you're in a rush, and, and plop. plop. <laughs> Your card submerged in soggy cereal. cereal. And as if we haven't learned our lesson the first time, we're going to do it again. Not you again. Come here. I love the gun. That's awesome. Are you using that dirty card again? Yes, we're using that dirty card again. I yeah. tried wiping it on my sleeve. Give me that card now. If you insist. Hmm. Looks just fine. Must have been a glitch in the scanner. And for the third time, we are going to try to get through. There's one born every minute, eh? That'll teach him not to use stolen ID. Yeah, see, that what hap that's what happens when you try to use Reich's ID to get into security services you die if you do it three times so that was just a slight diversion from what we have to do but he did mention something important is um using the link terminal there's one in security there's also one out here so let's look at that right quick and also for you guys there is the elevator it's a computer terminal with the word link on it nothing happens oops my bad sorry we're supposed to use the id on the link terminal please make your selection press exit to terminate link call so now that we have access to link in a way we can look up a little bit of things um, first, since we have Reich's card, let's find out a little bit about him. It may or may not come in handy. And forgive me if you hear my bird in the background. He decides he wants to talk today. So, Reich Steven or Stefan, Bellevue Gardens, 
2291 balance account mm, he's got some money wish we can use that link status five I guess link status is like what we would call security status so he he must have a high status recent traction ooh wow recent transactions yeah Frank's exotic fisheries seventeen dollars Holroyd's motor service one ninety dangerous bike subs hmm and let's look at the gazette tier worried about your future we offer fully comprehensive policies to safeguard your status. Anchor Insurance, Commercial Road, Bellevue 2282. Ting. <laughs> Why is Betty the center of attraction? She's wearing the latest in fashion. Big like lips, plate, supplied and fitted. House of Marat, High Green, 804. <laughs> hmm. The club at the park, St. James. When you get there, you'll know you arrived. St. James Club, Hyde Park, Erie 300. Suspicious of your neighbors? Turn your paranoia into hot cash. Contact Neighborhood Watch Scheme, Security Service, 826. Amaze your friends with our accessories. Safe Hermaphro Surgery Techniques, Burke's Bio Surgery, Bellevue, Erie 224. Okay, that's all we can do for that. I guess these are like, you know, personal want ads. Let's look at Union City News. Hobart Loonies at it again. It has been confirmed that the introduction of the mysterious the mystery virus into Link was the work of the left wing activists from Hobart City. The virus caused an error which led to the termination of 32 residents in East Park Block. Hmm. Property theft figures soar. The removal of items of clothing from an official suite in Wilberforce Park build brings the number two incidents reported this month to seven. Security service have been issued a warning to businesses in the area. Be vigilant. Hobart's, embar Hobart's embargo forces rationing. The following, following the recent imposed trade embargo, measures have been introduced to ration food supplies. The daily allowance for workers below status three is reduced by 40%. Executive eateries will no longer serve croutons. Hmm. Well, that's a little hint about the state of the world, or at least the state of the cities. It seems like people, it's based on status number, and if you're lower than a certain number, you get less. Judge comes down on youth. Plans to end violent crime in the East Park Block have met with link approval. Judge Chutney, the man behind the new laws, described the crackdown as a long, excuse me, as long overdue. Offenders are to be removed to Camp Morrissey for re-education. That sounds like they're going to be uh, brainwashed. This is gross, and I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to keep it up here longer enough for y'all to get it, but this is totally gross. Yeah, okay. And we can't use this yet, but let's check. Yeah, we can't use that yet. Okay, exit. Thank you for using Link. Be vigilant. All right, um, we have to go in here, but there is one more thing I want to check out before we do. How are we doing on time? Okay, we're doing good on time. I forgot my timer. Let's talk to this guy. What happened here? Sabotage chopper crashed. Destroyed the hospital. A hospital? That's tragic. Could have been worse. It almost hit the factory. Wow. You can see where these... These people and their priorities. 
they're more concerned about a factory than a hospital. This is really messed up. When will this wreckage be cleared? When the cleanup crew arrive. Walkway is off limits. You'll have to take the elevator down to Bellevue. Where is the elevator? Right outside the factory entrance. Do you mind if I watch? There's nothing much to see. They've already scraped out the remains of the crew. Were there any survivors? Yeah. The dirty sab who caused the crash. But Captain Reich will deal with him. He's a living legend among security men. Yeah, living legend. Who is currently in two pieces in the furnace of the recycling center. I doubt he's going to be doing much of anything anymore. But... I don't know if this guy honestly believes that there was a sabotage or or he's just making it up. But we know we didn't cause the crash. It malfunctioned. So, I mean, why why did, are they insisting that it's sabotage? And why did, are they so sure that it was Robert who did it? And why does this guy not recognize us? <laughs> So you reckon it was sabotage? Things don't crash without a reason. That's true. I don't want to be a scaremonger, but it was probably the work of crazies from Hobart. Hobart? What's that? A rival corporation, Hobart City. Now, before I end this conversation, I was reading on Wikipedia um, as I was brushing back up on this game because it had been a while since I last played it. Now, uh, unions and corporations are reversed in this game. Whereas unions for us is something for the workers to take care of them to make sure that they have their rights. They are considered corporations. And unions are what the big wigs are. They're the, the bosses, the higher up. They're the, the top dogs. It's kind of interesting. And if you want to um, look it up, like I said, check out on Wikipedia and find out a little bit more information on that. Never mind. Okay, that's all we're going to get out from him. Let me double check the time right quick. Okay, I'm still doing good. So let's go in here to the factory. Uh, huh. Let's look at this. It's a robot welder. Joey would love that shell. Hmm. It's a woman now. Who is she? Let's talk to her. Oh, wait, wait. Before I do this, can we talk to Joey again? Do you want a new shell, Joey? Do you mean that welder? That's right. You like it? I'll say. It's the mutt's nuts. <laughs> the mutt's nuts. <laughs> the bee's knees. The shell can't be removed while the robot's active. Okay, so we're going to have to do something about that in a little bit. But let's talk to this lady here and see what's up. Well, let's ask her, how do we get to ground level? How do I get down to ground level? Take the elevator. Or the big jump if you're desperate. Have security been in here? Yeah, they really stirred up. I think they were looking for someone. Hmm. I wonder who. What are you doing? I'm checking the pipes. They have to be perfect. That's ridiculous. If they have to be perfect, they should be checked by a robot. What's that? <laughs> He's my mechanoid chum, Joey. You're cute. Does it do tricks? <laughs> Not really. He just follows me around and gets in my way. Look, I'm not supposed to talk to you. Why not? Oh, Supervisor. Robert. Supervisor. I'm transferring you, lass. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't call me that. My name is Anita. Don't answer back, woman. <laughs> Report to the testing room immediately. 
What are you doing here? Do you know who I am, lad? I've no idea. I don't work here. I'm Gilbert Lamb, the supervisor. <laughs> Mind if I look around? I certainly do. Who are you? Now, um, I, I think from memory, if we say safety inspector, I think that gets us kicked out. So, um, let's, let's try security. Security. Looking for a fugitive. This factory's been searched already. He's not here. Can't be too careful. Just don't interfere with production. What's that robot doing here? He's my personal assistant. Say hello, Joey. Hello, Joey. <laughs> Pity he's got no brain. Okay, I'm actually going to call time right now. Thank you so much for watching. When the next video comes up, we're going to um, try to talk to Anita again and maybe talk to Lamb and see what's going on. Um, if there's another way to get that elevator fixed and get to ground. Like I said, thank you so much for watching and supporting me as I do this Let's Play of Beneath the Still Sky. Have a nice day.